All right, guys, so today we're going to look at how to get your Microsoft Surface Go out of S mode. Now, this is a brand new Go. This is how it comes. And we want to get it to be in standard Windows mode. So you're going to open the uh, Windows button here and click on the Settings button. In here, you're going to scroll down until you get to Update and Security. And then in here, you're going to click on Activation. And then it'll say if you want to go to Windows 10 Home, go to the store. Now it's going to be shipped with the uh, store not updated and it's not going to let you do it instantly. So we'll show you what happens. For some reason the touchpad, oh, okay, it just took a second to bring that up. So the store is coming up and now it's going to say you're unable to do it because your Microsoft Store is not up to date. But right down here, update Microsoft Store. So we'll update Microsoft Store. And now it's going to update. <coughs> so we'll let this update real quick. And then we'll go from there. But in S mode, you only get Windows apps. And there's some apps in there. They might be good enough for some people. Uh, you know, you can get your Netflix, you can get Facebook and Hulu. And there's some Office programs and such. But you're not going to be able to install Chrome, video editing software, pretty much any software, any games you want. Now this isn't a super pow powerful device, but I'm pretty confident it's going to edit 1080 by 60 video for me. I have my Surface Pro 2017, the 5th uh, edition. It's the 4 gigabyte version with the i5 and a 620 graphics card. This has 4 gigabytes and the... 615 graphics card, so just a little bit lower graphics card. This is pending for quite a while here. I'm going to go ahead, if this doesn't go soon, and just skip the video ahead once it gets downloaded. Don't know if I have to click anything else. I shouldn't have to. Oh, downloads and updates. It must be Oh, it's doing a lot of updates right now, so that's why I don't really need all these to be updated. Let me find my... So it's just doing updates because this is the first time I started this system. So my, it's pending to, up to update the Windows Store here because it's doing other things. So let me go ahead and just let this finish the updates and or cancel them and get to uh, the Windows Store update and then we'll continue. Alright, so I paused all the updates and then I told it to download the Windows Store right now. So it's going to go ahead and finish downloading and then we'll see what to do next. Alright, it fully updated the Windows Store and now we go back into where we were. And instead of saying you can't do it now, it says you can go ahead and do it for free. So now we're just going to go ahead and click. And from what I've read, this is pretty quick. Uh, it might take, you know, 30 seconds or a minute, I'm not sure. Oh, well, that was it. You've switched out of S mode and now can install apps from outside the store. So now we can use this like a standard Windows computer. You can update to Windows 10 Pro if you want, but I believe that's around 100 bucks. Windows 10 Home is fine for what I want to do on this device. And you cannot switch back to S mode. So once you're out of it, you're out of it. But I don't know why you'd really want to be in it. Uh, I mean, some people might have some use for it, and they might buy the computer for that use, so they might never want to switch out of it. But if you're someone that wants to switch out of it and, and install apps and, and programs, it's that simple. Just got to update your Windows Store first. And now I can go ahead and download things like Chrome browser, put my video editor on here, and just basically whatever I want. So I'm going to go ahead and put my video editor on here and edit this video which is 1080 by 60 from my Canon G7X Mark II camera and I'll put a little writing at the end letting you guys know how it went uh, and then I'll probably make a video later comparing the video editing how it can do because my Surface Pro here can edit 4k video now I do most of my videos in 1080 by 60 just because you get smaller file sizes but it's still great quality especially from my camera that I have so I usually just use 1080 by 60 
But we will do some tests comparing the two models with, for video editing, so you can look for that later. But otherwise, that's how you get out of S mode. We'll see you all later.